Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm gonna do today, I will talk about NLP, that's uh, Natural Language Processing. Now, I'm not gonna make any separate slide because I, I thought I might as well teach you guys from Trailhead. Um, so uh, you might have heard about NLP. NLP is pretty, pretty popular these days. Uh, natural Language Processing, NLP, uh, if you're wondering what does that mean. Um, NLP is, is quite popular in different aspects. Like, for instance, you might have seen the chatbots. Um, you might have interacted uh, with the different chatbots. Let's say, you know, let's say in New Zealand, for instance, uh, I often buy groceries from Countdown or New World. Uh, Countdown has um, uh, their chat where I can, uh, you know, communicate uh, for initial uh, queries and the bot is pretty responsive so that kind of use NLP behind the scene that's one of the uh, common example or use case I would say the natural language processing where a human linguistic is uh, put to test so for for instance I can contact say I can open the chat uh, let me show you right uh, let me show you either way countdown I'm not testing their chat site, but ask Oli, right? This is the site I use to buy the stuff. Uh, this bugger gone somewhere. Yeah, we need to please provide information. Um, let me, uh, I can provide our stores, answer queries. Okay, so issue with order, right? Sorry, here that issued the order. So you see, um, so. I issued a statement, right, to the site. So I haven't issued the order, though I don't have an issue with the order. Uh, so it gave me a response like, sorry to hear you had an issue with, let me know what the problem was. Uh, if I say, uh, I didn't, did not receive a few items in my order. Uh, you see what I'm trying to do, right? I'll get into the nitty gritty stuff of, uh, NLP, but just trying to give you uh, from a user perspective what I'm trying to do, right? Because it's very essential what I'm trying to do here. Otherwise, you know, NLP is going to be just a jargon if I don't get into, you know, nitty gritty stuff of it. Uh, so from a user perspective, because it's pointless, right? Because how do you explain to your stakeholder what NLP is about, right? The natural language processing, yeah, but what the heck it is. So like I am typing, say, I'm, I'm using English language, so it has grammar, um, well, my grammar sucks, but that, that, that's beside the point. But, but just for the sake of argument, let's say it's, it's grammatically correct. Um, and so the linguistic part come into picture. So the NLP behind the scene try to understand uh, the meaning of it, what I'm trying to convey, and it break down into smaller chunks, which we have something called tokens. And then based on that, it, it provides me a, um, a valid response so that's a very very vague i'm sorry very brief the definition is kind of sound vague if you if you say it so so if i put this one say if i if you receive the item science best solution yeah see so it's kind of and it give me the expression as well so it's not that i'm talking to a human the olive is it's a it's a uh it's a chatbot right so so this is what i wanted to demonstrate so so yeah, I do a lot of um, uh, shopping from here. So this is a very commonly used, sorry, common supermarket in New Zealand. So when I was in uh, Romania, um, I used to uh, do from Copland, uh, care for, uh, and there is Lidl, right? Um, yeah. Anyways, so that's from a. I hope that's clear what I'm trying to demonstrate, right? So it's it's a branch of artificial intelligence which combines, as you can see, computer science and linguistic to give computers the ability to understand, interrupt, and generate human language in a way that's meaningful to us, right? Us means I'm a human, I'm not a machine, so I can call myself as human. So that's, in a nutshell, that's what I demonstrated to you guys, what exactly I meant by that. I said, hey, give me an order. Imagine if the, if the machine... Uh, started if the chatbot started giving me a response like okay I was not able to receive my I so my orders were uh, items were missing from the current order and imagine the computer response were like order X Y Z 
input data go here go there you will like what the heck is talking right so instead it kind of gave a response and an apology apologized as well to say you know so that shows that it kind of built an emotion to it i mean obviously computers can't think right but that's a different uh topic altogether but i'm trying to say that it, it kind of pretended it kind of programmed uh, response in such a way uh, to to show an empathy towards the user to, uh, to say hey I understand I apologize that this is a problem we had let me connect to the right person so that's where natural language comes a very uh, a place a bigger role and another use case you might have seen the language translation right uh, that's one of the biggest like if you go to Spain and if you don't know how to communicate like it's a uh, hola como estas I would say, yeah, it's normal. Yeah, gracias. So um, then you start a conversation, bonus de as. Uh, so if if I say something, bonus de as, and if someone says, mm, um, and I have no idea, man, what the heck you're saying, so use the translator. So the translator will understand and then translate it. So that's a kind of natural language processing. If I go to Italy, it's say, buongiorno, come ti amo. So if I, so this is, uh, if you don't know Italian, then, um, you might say, mm, I have no idea what the heck he's talking, right? So uh, the computer, uh, the software can help you. So the, the software can translate to English to say, hey, this is what it means, right? Um, so that's um, kind of where natural language shines. And now we use a lot of deep learning um, and other aspects, but you must be thinking, right? Oh, natural language is pretty new concept because since artificial intelligence is everywhere, everyone talks about AI. That's not the case, though, all right? Because um, let me take you back in time. Let me tell you a story. You might have heard about this guy called Alan Turing, right? Alan Turing is considered as a founder of artificial intelligence, the man who showed the world, hey, machine can think. If I put it in a very simple in a very uh, poetic way, right? In a machine can think. So natural language um, came into existence from that concept uh, using a Turing test where a human being was made to have a conversation with a computer without even the human realizing that he's, he or she's talking to a machine. So that's, and the kind of response uh, the computer gave uh, to, uh, I'll say computer for now, right? to gave to the human made human believe that uh, they are talking to a, a fellow human being so that's where the first uh, concept of natural language process uh, nlp came into existence right and now you know a lot of money being invested a lot of research uh, started to happen in that area in 1960s 1970s 1980 now a lot of deep learning neural network get used behind the scene um, so as you can see that um, um, neural networks have dominated NLP research. NLP research is a big area. A lot of research happens. If you are, I would say that if you wanted to be a um, AI scientist, get into NLP. It's one of the the area which I personally believe will going to stay for maybe for a decade or two decades. You know, and you will see the burst in. Um, different applications that start that's going to use NLP. NLP is a great uh, tech to be part of, right? Or if you don't want it to do natural, or if you wanted to do computer vision, or if you wanted to do uh, other kind of a deep learning, right? So where you wanted to predict and do different things, you can do that. I mean, if you don't want it to do anything with NLP, it's fine, right? Not many people are interested into the linguistic aspect of, you know, when it comes to computer science, but that's fine. Now, what is the challenge, right? You must be thinking, uh, okay, NLP, what's so hard for the computer to understand? I'm saying to you, hey, mate, can you go and grab me that beer, please, right? You must be thinking, oh, pretty simple conversation. But for a computer, right, or for a software, or for a model, the language will be what I've used. The statement what I've used is an unstructured statement. Computer don't understand this one. For computer, this is unstructured. It has no meaning. So it has to break down into tokens and other aspects to, to uh, grab the meaning out of it. If you know what I'm trying to say, right? So, um, so there is there is a uh, two 
way process, what we call, um, that is called NLU and NLG, what is the natural language understanding. And then we have something called natural language generation. So uh, the data, right? Uh, I give you an example, right? About grabbing a beer. So that's an unstructured statement. That's an unstructured data for an NLP model. Now, what does the NLU, like the natural language understanding uh, unit will do? It processes the uh, data from an unstructured to a structured way, right? For a structured way, like everything is in the form of a language, like computer can understand, like for instance, this one, name, age, you know, like a kind of a block or tabular structure. So, so that computer can, um, or the model, can make sense out of it. That's an NLU perspective. Then we have NLG, where you have uh, a structured data, but it wants to convert back into the unstructured way. So that's reverse of what NLU does, the NLG natural language generation does, right? So, you know, like for instance, I give you a translator option, right? Um, from Spanish to English or Italian to English or Romanian to English or German to English or Norwegian to English, right? Or English to Norwegian or English to say a Chinese a Mandarin or Cantonese or I say, um, you know, English to say, you know, um, Korean or English to say a, um, Kazakh, whatever language, right? So where the natural language processing comes into picture and it's, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, you, I, I think that if you're an AI scientist, right? NLP should be your ally. You should be, you should have a fairly decent understanding of what NLP is all about. So that's all I wanted to cover. I just wanted to give you a basic introduction today. In the next episode, we can look into tokens, um, semantics, right? and other aspect of it, right? Because so that it's easy for me to explain once you have a basic understanding, because without basic understanding, I can't get into what tokens are, what semantics are, right? So it's very essential for you guys to understand uh, the basic what I've taught just now. Just go through it, think about it. Uh, think, imagine from a, uh, from a use case perspective, have you ever used a chatbot? How is your conversation like? Or do you think something you could have done to improve it? Uh, you know, from that perspective, right? Start thinking about it. It's very important, right? Because I understand that people think it's a certification. We don't really need to know much in the nitty gritty, but that's fine. But when you're going to have a discussion with a stakeholder, right? Stakeholder might ask you to do the same, right? Okay, explain to me from a different perspective. I don't want to know the technical jargon. How do you explain uh, NLP to a five-year-old? So that kind of thinking you should have in mind, right? So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Adios.